<laughs> you still have my stream open from yesterday? Oh, of course. I get a call just now as I start. I'll be right back. and get started. Um, I'm going to have to take a break in like 15 minutes, but only for a few minutes. So we'll just take a break then and uh, that'll be what it is. All right. So we now have a proper like document um, with what is left. So I'm going to keep that open. You can look at it. So I think what I'm going to work on first is the thing everybody wants to see, which is the space laser. Um, here, let's bring up the game. Uh, we've got some new models for stuff, as you can see. Thrusters got remodeled. They look way better and uh, starting to almost look like a spaceship now. Um, you know, this is the terrain scanner. doesn't have a model yet. It will. And uh, these are solar panels. They're they're a bit hard to see because it's flat on. Um, I guess I never added that downward rotation again. Let me fix that. Oh, that music's loud. Bring it down. Preview. Where is it? Right here. Um, yeah, should really just, yeah, I'll fix that later. I think the rotation goes here. Um, it was what, negative 10 along the X axis. I moved it up a little bit. Maybe if we put that down here. Down here. Oh. <laughs> there we go. That looks better. Um, Unforgiven Jake, this mod is about satellites. As you can see, this is... Uh, yeah. Um, th this is a satellite here. Uh, I've already launched it into space, so it's already orbiting. As this shows. And you can see what it's got on it. Um, and because it's got a terrain scanner, you can see the map. This render needs work. Uh, it needs to be positioned properly, and also I want to make it so that you can like drag it around and stuff. But it, the important part is that it maps stuff and works. Uh, positioning it is just tweaking it later. Um, yeah, Damon, um, we're going to add fairings probably eventually, but it's, like, it's a pretty complicated thing, so for now we're just going to ignore that kind of thing. But you're right, um, eventually this would be a totally bad craft. You would need something to cover those solar panels. 
In fact, I ideally in my mind, the solar panels wouldn't start out like that, but that that's even harder. Like they would, you know, deploy. Uh, Thanks. It wasn't mine. <laughs> this is mostly Gagey's idea. I mean, I've contributed to it, just, you know, my own vision for, you know, once I heard the idea, but the original idea was his. Um, like, this whole menu here is pretty much all me. I, I, I'm I really the only one who's worked on the GUI stuff. He did the map renderer. Because um, I, I tried to get it working with, like, or thought about how to get it working with vanilla mapping stuff. It was never going to work like that. So this is a whole custom thing that looks at the blocks and gets the colors for them and shades them and all that. Looks pretty nice. Um, it'll look nicer once it's properly positioned and not, like, cut off. All right. So, space laser. That's this doohickey. Um, as you can tell, these models are... <laughs> they need a little work to be sized in the inventory properly. Um, that's not the worst, but <laughs> when it's in the slot, it looks ridiculous. But let's see, let's and put it here. Um, currently, you can attach it like that. I don't want that to be possible in the end. It should only point down, otherwise it doesn't really make sense. And this is how I've been building it. Gonna need a nice big launch vehicle to get this into space. antenna is actually going to be removed for now. Um, we'll just make the antenna in there by default. Um, some solar panels for good measure. So that is now our laser texture wrap on on the laser. Oops. Yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. I like the laser texture. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Um, a lot of these textures were, were put together pretty quickly. Um, I think the only ones that are more or less final are the thruster and the tank. Um, uh, the solar panels are actually probably pretty fine on the battery, but like this is still just an iron block because that's what I picked. Oh, the tanks. Yeah, that was actually one of the first things we did was make them um, connect like that. But it makes me want to add like a triangular strut so that it can be perfectly in line, you know? Alright, so this is going to be our laser craft. Um, so it's a laser, and I can prime it. And then I can actually launch it from here. Um, that's no fun. Let's, we got we to see it go. Oh no, you can't actually do that anymore, so that's changed. <laughs> it kind of stinks, because I gotta look really quick. There it goes. It's off. And it made it to space. That's good news. So now it's in space, but the laser doesn't yet do anything, so let's work on that. Module space laser. Get that going. Wait, what?
Hmm. Oh, wait, yeah, duh. Um, laser. We'll just call it laser. Then, while it's... It needs to tick. Um, does the super do anything? No. Shouldn't this be in the Minecraft channel? What do you mean? I'm I'm on the Minecraft uh, community. Oh, you mean like what what the type is? Well, I'm creating. I'm making a mod that's creative more than it is Minecraft. I trust me. I'll be doing more typing than playing. Um, need to keep an eye on the clock. I mean, I've seen it in creative plenty and plenty of times. Depends on what you're doing. If you're making something for other people, then it's creative. If you're just playing the game, sure, there's creative aspects, but you're, you're still just playing the game. Anyways. Um. How is power used? Let me check the... Not. Trying to see where these actually get. Oh, I see. We don't really yet have a system to pull from all batteries or all all power at once. So, oh. Alright, so let's do get module capabilities. If I could split my attention that much, um, I'd do it, but I can't. Power sources. We're also going to need to hold some kind of like Extract. Oh, yeah, extract. Yeah. Um.
that's a bit lazy, but um, so that will use power. Um, if it's active, we want to use up power. That's the most basic thing. Um, okay, so I actually have to take a short break. I know we just started, but um, that was what that call was about. So I will be back in five-ish minutes or less, I promise. And thank you for the follow, gamers, Ven.
Why did my music stop? <laughs> there it goes. Huh. I don't know. Okay. So we've got to pull in the power. Uh, I'm going to need to add a capability for this. Because we're going to have to ac access it externally. I always forget where those are. Oh, I suppose we should make it an interface. Where are these? Uh, I... Uh, laser. <laughs> down here needs to high laser should yeah those both override so it magically works now This is where it gets fun. for now. Hello, Devagra. Uh, playlist link um it's just pretzel rocks um the chill station uh here it is this oh is there a spacex launch right now really That'd be appropriate YouTube is erroring on me. Okay. I 
If you want to link the, uh, on Twitch. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, Das is there. Okay. Oh, Nas is on Twitch. I did not know that. Huh. Interesting. CRS 14 something. Interesting. Yeah, I usually just watch it on their website. I didn't know they were on, on Twitch. All right. I'm going to grab this because it's pretty stupid, simple code. Um, really no other way to do it. So, Devec 3D. Should work, and then get their look vector, scale the. Oh, hang on. Yeah, YouTube seems to be all screwed up. I was getting 500 error. I don't know what's up with that. All right, so when that's done, I need to set in the MBT, MBT where it's picked. So, um, Yeah, uh, you might as well give up. If you want, like, a uh, nice commentary and, like, to talk of it, um, this guy's streaming. Um, and he always listens to chat and will answer questions and super helpful. And he's, he's probably live, like, simulcasting for the launch. Uh, I'll be right back.
Yeah, on streams like that, I'll typically full chat as well. I'll just... Alright. Although that's... No, that's no good. I can't just store it on the thing. The item needs to know... It needs to find a... Hey, Jodu. It needs to find uh, the nearest... There's a craft in range of the selected coordinate. So let's get rid of that. Um, so I need to look at all the satellites in the world. So Yeah, no, I agree. It's the chat interaction that makes Twitch even worthwhile. I, I don't, I can't get into anything that's just like nonsense unless it's something I'm interested in. Otherwise, like I watch like the Rocket League championships or something. That's entertaining in its own, and it's got commentators. It's like a sports game. You don't really need chat. <laughs> but with like personal streams, like yeah, I totally agree. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do 1, S2, and compare uh, integer, compare. Two? Is it distance 2p? No. Distance square to center. No. Distance squared. Yeah, that's fine. S2, get position, distance squared to the same place. So we're going to sort them. Oh, those are doubles. We're going to sort them by their distance to. I don't know. I've never looked into that. It sounds like something that this game would do, um, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that's unlikely. <laughs> um. Closest. Line first. Else. Oh. Null. Um. If closest. Not null. And it's close enough to this. We'll say it's less than um, 64 square root is 16. So it's less than 16 blocks away, then it's valid. And now usually we do it one chunk range. So actually want 32. So what, 128? That's not equal. Um, then eye laser not eye laser um, satellite or closest get module get 
Definitely. Base laser. For each eye laser. We'll just do L. The active true. Activate all those lasers. Every single one. <laughs> Paul, you would be the one to know that extremely obscure fact. But thank you for being here and telling him, because I didn't know. Um, okay. <sighs> Set them all active. And then once that's done, then it's all, it's up to the thing. So we don't actually need the stack. And we'll go ahead and say, we'll just do, actually only here. just so we know it's working. Zero into get position I should probably be one as you do for get look. Uh, that is true, yeah. Good call. And yeah, I mean that's like tiny, tiny little bit of desync which probably wouldn't matter, but yeah, now you're right. Uh, I don't even know what to put here. True? Oh, but I don't tell the lasers um, what position to fire at. So that needs to be part of the API. Um, we'll just call it activate, and we'll say block plus target. In which case, we don't even really need to do this check here. We'll do that in the laser. will just be target not null and then activate we'll set the target um, except I don't hmm huh. my modules don't have access a back reference to their satellite so they don't know their own position so it will have to be a parameter Idea and Eclipse, it's personal preference. Um, it, they're definitely very different, but in the end they are just both text editors. Whichever one you work faster in. Alright, that should be not null.
Oh, this is this is nullable though. There we go. Makes everything happy. All right, so we need to say. We'll say it requires 10,000, which is pretty low in all honesty, but it can be changed. Um, and then I guess we'll have to do like power used. Hey, this dark theme is pretty complete, at least compared to how it used to be in Eclipse. It's got this, this is some problems, and this one scroll bar. I am very hopeful that they will be fixed whenever the next version comes out, but who knows. Alright. Yeah. I don't blame you if you want to go watch that. So then, our used... Minus power. So then it starts at power per tick, and if it doesn't use it all up, then it won't. Yeah. It, it does. Um, Idea has a system of like modules and stuff that's different. It, it, it can be done. I just found it annoying and complicated. So now I just need a way to have it say, I am now actually firing a laser. And then that is what we will use to render the effects and do things. Um, I think for now, though, let's just do... Um... Is there a way to, um, is it not, oh, I don't have a getter for that, with uh, that, is there no way to, to just set a coordinate? That's an oversight. There's no with methods. Um, it, for the most part, I mean, it uses some native theming, so, like, it might look a little different. Alright, fine. Um, target, get X, that, Y. And then, uh, that not work. Oh, that returns a block pass. Never mind. Easy peasy. Um, and then just, we'll just do something lazy, like, Just make it blow up at the at the base, and then uh, then we clear the target, and it's done. Uh, we also need to say power used equals zero. Reset that. There we go. So if this works, we should now have a system that lets you right click with this item somewhere in the world and it finds the closest craft 
Uh, and if it has a laser on it, it'll, it'll shoot that laser. Um, let's test it. First, I need to make sure I register this item. See if it works. Now, if I... Nope, it didn't get registered. Is there an error or something? Lots of model errors. Fix those. <laughs> but, uh... Mm. registered it. Hang on, let me, let me try a good old... Yeah, no, it's there. It's not in JEI. Not sure why. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, duh. can't do that on the server, on, on the client, I mean. Thing I left in that warning. See, that's what I mean. I, I said this like two days ago when I added this this check. I'm going to make a stupid mistake and call it on the client. And there it was. And now I know. And I won't make that mistake. Um... I also want to print out the, oops, not error, print out the position, uh, even if it doesn't find a craft, just to see if it's working. Um, there are instructions on the official documentation. You go here. Um... happened to write that page but yeah if you go to uh, getting started and then home there's a numbered list includes both IntelliJ and Eclipse instructions uh oh did that just work? no tried to fire this craft, but of course nothing happened because this is the one with the laser. That's 104387. 104387. You mean minus 104? Yeah. Right here. It's not going. It's getting the right craft, though. Um, but the question is, why isn't this ticking? Empty module should tick. Ticks every oh, it ticks every twenty ticks. I need to fix that. But it should still be getting called. The question is, is it getting called? And the answer is no. No, it's not. Why? 
Why is it not going to Got the module, right? Space laser. Laser. I know why. I never made it expose the capability. So it doesn't actually activate it. Um, yeah, so this needs to have... Wait. Hold up. How does this work? Huh. I see. So most of them implement as a separate object, um, but they, they do... Yeah, they expose those. So I'll just expose it as myself, um, which is a bit lazy, but I, I got no excuse. Lazy. Later, demon. Thanks for hanging out. Hmm, that's my eye. Okay. Okay. That should fix that. Um, why isn't it asking me to restart? I don't know. Well, you can use VS Code for Java. I know some people do. Um, I have never used it. I don't know how well it is, but supposedly you can. been getting ticked though. It's not even finding it. So what the hell? Ah, no satellites. Um... This is the nether. Stop it. Go away. 
Why is it not? <laughs> We're getting a bit lost here why this isn't working. Um There it is. So we got three satellites. Laser craft modules. Yeah, it's not got the laser module. Wait. I know what I did. I know what I did. Um I never changed it here. This needs to return the module space laser, otherwise the factory is broken. Um, and that should take hold if we just save and quit and come back. because the game froze. Um, what do you mean? Like, the difference between Minecraft versions? <sighs> depends on the, the update. 113 is looking to be a bit of a beast. Uh, depends on what you're into, though. Like, they've redone world gen, so if you're a world gen mod, good luck. But if you're just adding, like, items and blocks, probably all right. Some minor changes for like the new state stuff, but okay. Now this is getting called. Actually, no, let's let's leave that one. I want to see what happens. So if we target here, it doesn't get activated. Um, that doesn't get called either. What's going on here? Okay. Our guy, right? And our mark one. Yep. Weird. What is going on? It, it's ticking it, so it must have it. Do 
you see the space laser in here? Because I don't. Thanks for the follow. It's me, Sam Twitch. Um, yeah. Oh, wait, no, this is the wrong craft. That would explain it. Um, not scanner mark one we want, it's the other one. Wait, scanner, is it? Negative 104, 3, 8, 6. Negative 104, 3, 8, 7. Oh, they're one off. They're one block apart. No wonder it was so hard. Um, looking at negative 104. Boom. All right, we're going to have to shoot off another one, or, uh, yeah, make another one real quick. Here. Tanks on either end. It'll just be a simple little craft. Nothing crazy. Okay. Go. I mean, yeah, it's a good it's a good goal to have. I mean, you can you can do a lot in the game, and it's it's pretty fun, and you get to exercise your skills while having a pretty open sandbox to to work with. Um. All right, try this again. Oh, unnamed craft. Why does it keep? All right, we, we gotta launch it like real far away <laughs> from all that stuff. <laughs> um, oh, we also gotta put, remember to put some batteries on. All right, let's let's uh, let's find a spot over here. Good. Launch. Okay. Now. There we go. You got it. So it's going to activate. No. <laughs> and I know why that is. Um, because we need to get the height at that spot. Um. Craft that get world get height at the at its position, and then that that distance to the target. That should be fine. Yes, it's at the target, and then picking. That's going to use power. Got a battery with power in it. It's going to take some power out, and use some power. Okay, all right. So it's 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 working. Uh, let's look in here. Laser Mark Three, taking power, very slowly though, because um, I forgot to <laughs> raise the tick rate. So currently taking 200 power per second. Why it's 200? I don't know because it should be 100. I think we've got an issue here with ticking. Um, 
stuff is being ticked twice. I think it's a... Um, I think the world tick has phases, doesn't it? So it's a matter of beginning and end, so we're ticking twice. So yeah, I'll fix that. Um, it takes 100,000, so this is going to take approximately 20 years to finish. So let's try again, shall we? At 100, or 200 a tick to get to 10,000. Oh, it was only 10,000, so it would have finished. But let's raise it anyways. Um, turn our uh, is active. One else. Never. Never tick, please. Or as close to never as possible. Uh, tomorrow? Maybe. Depends when I get up, um, because this is over tomorrow. Um, in fact, there is only... Twenty hours left. I have GNU license source code and I make modifications. Can I use it for... You can use anything for personal use, pretty much. Um, there's... There, you can't... Licenses can't really dictate what you do on your own personal computer you know it, it, it's a bit of a tricky situation because like maybe theoretically you're not supposed to but like that's not what the license is about they usually restrict distribution of some sorts all right so let's try that again oh it's using all the oh okay it works um wow and it'll fire again and I can I can pick um, targets at range. I am not. I haven't made a single. The only art asset. Oh, so that must have been too far away over there. Yeah. Uh, the only asset I've made is everything for this. Um, <laughs> all these beautiful textures. Uh. But uh, this background is from a program called Spacescape. Generates procedurally generated backgrounds, and I just, you know, took a section out of it. And uh, this is, this was Geggy, and uh, the other background that we don't see right now. If I put one of these down, this background is just a blue to white gradient I made in GIMP. Um, I made the original texture for this strut, but then. The other guy made it better. <laughs> Mine was pretty garbage. That's pretty good though. I like it. Now we just need like proper laser effects. You know what? It might be out of power. No. Oh, oh, wait. Haha. <laughs> I, I need another check. Um. Uh. In the target selector. Need to. We need to filter for ones. Um. For ones that are actually in orbit. <laughs> Otherwise, it's obviously going to pick up the other one. There we go. <laughs> Neat. Alright, let's fix the other issue. Um, server event handler um, if event that phase yeah let's 
Uh, and actually, let's just put that. It will tick at the end. That's fine. Now with that, it should take a little longer. And it only uses 100 per tick instead of 200. Boom. Goldeneye? And that's kind of what I'm going for. It's like something that's like, you know, just sitting up there and then... Uh, the AE2 conduit? It probably wouldn't be too difficult, um, especially if you base it on our existing code. Uh, but I know that their API has changed somewhat. Uh, and I found it very confusing to use when I first wrote the A2 conduits. So, I don't know, if you're a beginner, it might be a bit much. Pretty good. I like that the selector works perfectly, like, you know, blow up that block right there. I guess that's too far away. Okay, that block then. Bye bye. <laughs> Here, let me. I'll bring this big screen so you can actually see it. Um, tell us where it's firing. That's temporary. Some stuff's too far away. I think the craft's more like over here. Yep. Yeah, it is. The space laser. The radius is pretty small. Um, I think the radius could be way bigger. Because, like, in theory, like, it could be aimed. And it, since it's in orbit, it doesn't have to be aimed very far for it to have a large area. How long have I been working on this? Since Friday. When when it started. Um, so yeah, in the, in the laser. Let's, let's raise that range to, like... I don't know. We'll say, say an eight chunk radius. So that's 64 uh, squared. 4,096. And now we should be able to use it pretty far away. Like over here should work. No? Not too far still? it out of power or something. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Gary. Uh, hello, game. You want to render those anytime soon? Weird. Uh, yeah. I know, yeah, that, that's fine. I was just changing the, uh, the distance. And then finally, let's blow up the control system. Now, this item should probably take power, um, but we'll get we'll get to that. Uh, kind of wish I could queue up lasers, like just be like boom, 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 and it would like do them all. But uh, more work, and it kind of doesn't really make sense. I, I like it where it's just like go here, and then it charges up. Uh, okay, that's good. Let me make a... Uh, eh, that's fine. Go take a picture of this. Visuals, uh, 
Yeah, it's tough. I, I'm no good at it. All the models we have were made by the other guy on the team. Um, this this battery was made by Giggy. Um, the space laser and the solar panels and the thrusters were all made by Koala. Um, the tank texture and connectedness. The connected models were made by Koala. Giggy made the textures. Yeah, sorry, it's my Sherex. I, I, it doesn't have streamer mode like Discord does. Um, see, what else do we have? Is there anything else that's really modeled? Not really. But the antenna. So it looks like we're getting some textures and models and stuff. So let me pull those in and see what they look like. See what they look like. The tank should have some kind of glass. That wouldn't be very realistic, though. Um, <laughs> uh, stuff didn't update. Let's let's restart. Sherex is yeah. Sherex is great. Oh, it didn't pull. That would explain why nothing updated. Why didn't it pull? Check out conflict modules. Okay, so I gotta commit this. Um, checkpoint lasers explode stuff. <laughs> so commit that, and then I can pull in the other stuff. I'll go back here. So, there we go. Now, did modules merge correctly? Looks like it. I don't know what he added. Yeah, you can customize it like crazy. Like you can even set it up so where it pushes to your own like domain service or you can write your own like there's like a configuration to make your own to any service. Right. Like I currently have it set up to, to prompt me on images because I was tired of it uploading to Imager. I'd rather just upload it to Discord, which is where I send images most of the time. Um, so now I have it prompt me. So I just get to pick every time whether it uploads or not. Oh, look at that. So we got the control systems, got an upgrade of uh, texture now. Um, and the satellite controller has a texture now too. So we've actually got some, some stuff. Force itself to use admin right on startup? I don't know. I need to get rid of that mipping. Awful. Because um, it's pulling from the extra to the side of it. Add, probably add custom mips for the texture. See that when it like turns white like that? That's the mip maps pulling from the white part of the texture. These don't have their own right particle either. Um. Uh. Solar panel. That's the particle here, so why doesn't that work?
Hey, Map Joe. Welcome back. Um... Trying to figure out why this doesn't have a particle texture. Sprite. What is that? If I get material name. Oh, it doesn't even care about it. Oh, great. It just ignores the particle textured part entirely. Cool. Might be able to add another E then. Let's try in the solar panel material. I do that. I, I honestly don't know. Looking up how these files work. I did. Oh, I did. Good catch. Um, why is there an error? Ain't no error. Thanks for the host. <laughs> uh, yeah, that didn't work. It mapped the whole thing to it. Um... again I, I uh I added another material I don't know if that'll work <laughs> just 
I'm just I'm just throwing stuff at the wall at, at this point. I don't really understand the OBJ loader. It's kind of a mess. Kind of always been a mess. See if this works. Nope. So never mind. I don't know. What is going on? Why, why does it keep kicking me off? Alright, we need to get back to working on the space laser, so... Cancel this load, because we need to work on the rendering part. client we will have a new package with a laser and we will Actually, let's let's just let's do this differently. Let's have this be uh, an enum, and we'll have charging, firing. I don't know what else we'll have. There might be other states uh, later. Actually, we'll have a state for, uh, fleet.
All right, let's just, uh, let's get. Clockwise, so Testing. All right. So let's see if this does anything, because with this kind of rendering, um, always good to get something that you can we get What? Hang on one sec. I'm 
does it mean it's a duplicate? I don't understand what that means. What is it talking about? Not a duplicate of anything. I don't know what's going on. Let me see. Oh, yeah. I've got a Logitech as well. Uh, G502. That looks nice, though. Oh, cool. So Eclipse has decided it does not work at all. That's great. Uh, one moment, please, while I restart it. I don't know. It's had a heart attack or a stroke or something of those sorts. I don't know why, but it's suddenly not building my project at all. Always fun. Okay. What is happening? Okay, it seems to have built now. Okay. Oh, let's see if it launches now. Horizontal scrolling. Yeah, I have the horizontal scrolling. I don't have gestures. 42 hours? God. You should have been working on this, not me. I had to actually sleep. Okay, look, we're back. Jesus. All right. Go to zero, zero. What's here? Let's see. Anything? No. Uh, hang on.
true. So it is getting called. Aha! What is that? It's a squid. Damn it. I thought that was something rendering. <laughs> Ow. Always forget about that problem. If you uh, reload while it's in the middle of rendering, yeah.
Okay. No problem. Usually I can figure this out. Alright, um, might be helpful. If I was in a void world, I could see everything. And then, uh, be nice if these blocks weren't there. <laughs> Sorry. Why is nothing showing up? Alright, I gotta find what this is called from. And yeah, no, there's no transformation supplied, so it should be should be enough. Nothing is happening at all. Ah. Why?
Um, I don't know about lets you set a time. Push lets you it'll just expire. Um, Not a very common request. Most people want it to stay forever. <laughs> yeah, your own server with like a cron job. In fact, I have a friend who set his up like that. It's on a cron job and it kills any images or videos after like a week. Sorry, it's a little quiet right now. I'm trying to figure this issue out. Just get anything to draw. Oh, buggy game. Why is there light here? Mystery. Oh, look at that. I've corrupted the state. Oh, no, it's doing something. 